Hello everybody, it's Dr. Tracy again, and I'm bringing another amazing client graduation interview to you. Now, the reason I do this, as some of you may know by now, is because there's so many of you that have different questions about how this kind of level of transformation can really be possible, right? And how that can be possible in a short period of time, and how maybe for some of you, when you really look at your situation and you see, f really feel like things are really daunting and overwhelming and like there's no possible way this stuff can really change, you know, it's really important to be able to give you a sense of, of what is possible no matter where your life is right now and how different it can be in a short period of time. So there's no better way to do that than to have our successful clients from our program share with you about their journey from where they have been and where they are now. And our, our purpose in all of this is to, you know, is to celebrate our clients and, and, and the incredible absolute commitment they've made to themselves to celebrate their capacity as people and to really share that celebration with you and share those possibilities. So I have with us today uh, Miss Donna Dean, who is one of the coolest chicks I have ever met. I use them using that word chick because that's how her and I roll together, right? And <laughs> Donna is one of the most incredible people that I've ever known. And I just fell madly in love with her and just was so excited to really pull out so much potential out of Miss Donna and uh, and to really put her back on that track of her life of really rocking and rolling. So Donna, if you will just share with us a little bit about yourself from from you, uh, and and let everybody know a little bit a little bit about you and your life. All right. Well, thank you, Doctor T. Mm -hmm. um, I am a mom of three. I have uh, I've got two teenagers and a, and a preteen, so I've got my hands pretty full around here. Um, <laughs> I am um, almost 50. I'll be 50 in a few months. And um, I was just in a place where everything was going wrong. Um, my health was quickly de declining. Um, I didn't know what was wrong. Um, I was miserable. Um, I was ready to literally walk out of life. Mm -hmm. just, just walk away from it all. Um, I was very unhappy in my marriage. Um, and it just... I just couldn't do any more. I was at the end of my rope completely. Um, I had done so many different things as far as trying to, you know, get my life right and try to figure out what was wrong. You know, um, I, I've done I've done a ton of things to try to, to get it right. And um, this for me was almost it was pretty much a last a last ditch effort. I remember. Yeah. 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 Donna, so say a little bit more about. Um, about the challenges that you were experiencing in terms of what it is that you were feeling and the way that you wanted to feel and the things mm -hmm. in life that were not working and, and what you really wanted to be different for yourself. Um, I had just gotten to a place where um, I couldn't make anything work. My, my mind wouldn't work. I didn't want to get out of bed. Um, I, uh, I couldn't focus on anything. Um, I couldn't think straight. I couldn't make a grocery list. Mm -hmm. I mean, it had affected me so much. Um, it was affecting the relationship between me and my children, which I have, you know, hold very dear. Um, and I just, um, you know, haven't had, you know, I've been a stay at home mom for so long. I kind of lost my, kind of lost my identity and I didn't know what my purpose was in life. This was not, what I thought this was not the life I thought I was supposed to be leading. Um, I never felt comfortable with, with, I just wasn't comfortable in my own skin with what I was doing. I, I literally felt like I had no identity at, the, at this point, at that point that I, when I reached out to you, um, I mean, I was depressed. I was anxious. Um, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, you know, I was losing weight. I mean, uh, just my, everything was going downhill. Um, I, you know, and, and I wanted, I knew that, I knew there was a bigger purpose. I knew that, I knew that I had, there was something always told me, there always had something in, in, inside of me telling me that I, that there was more and I didn't know what it was, but I got so clouded by all the anxiety and the depression and the, 
stress of everything um, that I just couldn't even, I couldn't, I felt the whole, I, I liken it to a, a light. And in my mind, the light was getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And it was almost as if I was at the bottom of a pit and I was never going to be able to climb back out of it. I mean, I just couldn't even see that there was any light at the end of it. Wow. So. Donna, thank you so much. You're really reminding me of of where where you were in that that conversation that we had that day and looking at everything and um and yeah and that you were really feeling like you tried all these things and was it am I is it am I remembering right that part of it was one of the worst things was that you've tried all these things you put yourself to them yes and you were thinking you failed at them but when we really looked at it you uh -huh. were able to see that day that they were, they were, those things were really failing you. Yes. I thought something was wrong with me. I, I, I think I even remember saying that to you. I, I mean, I remember saying it to several people. There's something broken in me. Yeah. There's something completely broken in me that I can't make these things work. You know, I, I tried different things and I'd work on it for a while and still things weren't getting better. I'd get a little relief from this program or that program and, I mean, I've done everything. You know, you know what I've done. I've done everything from, you know, uh, pathways to AA to, you know, I mean, I've done it all, everything. Yeah. So yeah, I, no, I really legitimately started thinking it was something with me that I was incapable of getting, getting help and getting fixed. No, this is really, I'm glad we're touching base on this, Donna, because that's why each of your individual stories are so um, of service to people because you know, I know so many of you can potentially relate to that. You've done different therapies, you've done different treatments, you might be having a whole cafeteria of treatments that you're doing now in your life, or have done. And one of the most concerning things for me, for, for the fact that I care about changing people's lives out of suffering is that people will believe that there's something wrong with them, rather than that process either wasn't right for them, it wasn't set up to serve them. It wasn't comprehensive enough. And then people can feel very hopeless in that. Right. Oh, and, absolutely. And that belief that something's wrong um, can be one of the dark, really can be one of the darkest things ever. Because if you don't know that things can really get better, then it's understandable, Donna, where you were that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I was at the bottom, totally yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, I had been on every medication on the planet. I had tried, you know, I almost drank myself to death and then I quit drinking. And then, you know, I was like, I, but I knew somewhere down in the bottom of me, I knew that drinking was not my problem. Taking medications wasn't my problem. Getting off medications wasn't my problem. I mean, I had done every single thing and then I was like, okay, there's something else. But then when I kept trying on my own, you know, it, I just kept failing at it. And I just, yeah. you know, and I isolated myself a lot too. You yeah. know, I think the older I've gotten, the more, in, you know, it's become a real shameful thing to not be able to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think, so. I think so many people can relate and that's why we're here to change that. We're here to change, uh, we're here to change the world, you know? So, so Donna, again, what were some of the things that, what were some of the things that were real priorities for you that you absolutely wanted to change for yourself, whether it was how you want to feel, what you want to be able to do, figure out what were those priorities for you at that time? Um, gosh, at that time, I just wanted to feel uh, the very first thing I wanted to feel was just some relief. Mm -hmm. I was in a constant state of fight or flight. I mean, for so long, that uh, it took such a toll on my body, I couldn't handle it anymore. I just wanted to, just, all I wanted was to just, for that, at that moment, just to be out of that feeling, yeah. that tense, you know, hopeless feeling of being just completely out of control. That's what I ultimately wanted right, right at the beginning. Um, and then I wanted to truly, I did, I wanted to, I wanted to see if there was, you know, something more and, uh, I had, I, you know, I had done a lot of other therapies and things like that. And I just knew that so many of the therapies that I had, that I had started had touched on some things and I had learned a lot. I had gained a lot of information, but I didn't have everything that I needed at the time. And I didn't realize that until I did this program. I mean, I honestly did not realize what was still left out there. Now, um, you know, I wanted to have, I wanted to find some peace 
Um, I wanted to feel better um, physically, emotionally, um, physically, emotionally. I was, I mean, the whole, the whole, the, it, it, everything was affecting my entire being. And I just needed relief. Honestly, I wanted to walk away. Um, I, went, I, I mean, I came close to just walking away from my family. I mean, who does that? What mom does that? You know, I love my kids more than anything. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, and, and I wanted some direction. I, but I, what I think what was important for me was to find out and, you know, not that I needed to have anyone to blame, but I really wanted to find out what it was inside of me. That, that wasn't that, that one little piece that I was missing. Does that make sense? You know, I was really trying to yeah. figure out what it was so that I could get back on my feet, become the person that, you know, I, I, I knew I had the capacity to do something great. Yeah. I just didn't know what it was. and I didn't know how to get to it. I, I just had no idea how to pull myself up out of this hole. And, and even, I mean, I, I, I wanted to work so many times, but I couldn't even go back to work because I didn't feel good enough. And I was just, it was this horrible cycle of not feeling well, you know, getting depressed about it again, being ashamed of it. And, you know, and here I am, I'm like, oh my God, I'm almost 50 years old. You know, I've got three kids. I've got two in high school. You know, I want to go back to work. I want to contribute to this, you know, to this family. I want to contribute to myself. I wanted my, I wanted to feel good too. And I also wanted my children to see their mother succeeding and not being just so wiped out and depressed that she couldn't get off the couch or, you know. Well, Donna, these are some of my favorite things about what it is that was really motivating you. And, um, and what you just said is so important because so many of the people that we work with and so many of the people that are, are in this group and will, will, you know, ever watch this interview. One of the great things to know is that all of what you've done along the way to try to learn and develop and uh, in some cases, dig yourself out of a hole that you, that you feel that you're experiencing, everything that you've done along the way is an asset and a resource there, right. It is a step along the way. But unfortunately, in our culture, a lot of these things are sort of, they're not comprehensive, they're not integrative, and it's left to all of you to try to put all these pieces together when you already don't feel good. Right. Um, but right. what, what I was so excited about, you know, for you, Donna, was that even though it had felt like I've done all of these things, nothing can work for me, they only work a little bit. And seeing that as some of you might see that and, and get in the way of yourselves, that that's a reason yeah. that you're not going to be successful. What I knew, Donna, for you was that all of those things were going to just be assets that you brought, you know, with yourself into a process that you were going to get those missing pieces mm -hmm. and be able to put them together in an easier way. So mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you shared that because for all of you that have done lots of things and you feel like, but they don't work, what you want to know, they worked to whatever degree they worked, <laughs> right? Right. 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 So anything you would want to add to that, Donna? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's so much when I really sit and think about it. There's just, there's so many things, you know, I could probably go on and on and on about everything in my in my world that wasn't going right now I do I will say this I knew there was a person in there you know I could remember back to a time in my life where you know I enjoyed life mm -hmm. you know I, I enjoyed myself and um, this process over the last couple of years of me trying to get back to that person it's like I was taking care of myself I was doing some things to take care of myself I was trying but it just wasn't enough it just wasn't enough. And that's why, that's why I say, you know, I just felt like that, it just felt like that window was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And, um, you know, I, but I, but the, the thing about it is, is I could remember there was a time that I was, you know, that I was successful and that I, you know, I, I did enjoy being around people and I did enjoy life. And, and so I was slowly trying to get back to that, but, you know, I just felt like I kept getting pulled down and yanked down and yanked, you know, by, my circumstances or, you know, by someone else. And, and well, you're, so that's, Donna, you're, you're speaking to something really important, which is we do feel like when we're struggling on an emotional level, even though we're trying our tails off, 
<laughs> we do feel like our world is shrinking because our emotional capacity yes. as it's shrinking for whatever the reasons that we discover in the program, as mm -hmm. it's changing, that does make your world feel smaller. And I know Donna, you, I know you so well at this point that when you feel like you're not going to be able to live your potential as a person and you're going to be like, this is going to get worse and worse. Mm -hmm. That is one of the most terrifying feelings ever. Yes. Right. And as you're starting, you know, you're hitting certain milestones in your life where, you know, you really want to live your potential in that way. When you feel like you may not have access to it, it can be where you just want to, you want to walk away and put, you know, say game over. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Just, yeah. So what's important for everyone to know is that's a really normal feeling to have when most of us have never been trained on an emotional level in our lives in, in, in ways that really work on a practical level. Right. So, so Donna, and some of the things also that some people I think can relate to is, are that it was really, so first of all, again, it was so important. I loved your priorities. You wanted to be able to be that leader of yourself and allow your children to absorb a yes. higher emotional capacity for yourself so that they were able to have the feeling of what does it feel like to be able to be able to live their capacity as their potential as a person in the rest of their lives. So that was a big motivation for you, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. At the very top. Yeah. And then like so many people, you know, are in relationships and you were wanting to have so much more clarity about your capacity for a relationship and what your relate your marriage could really be. So that clarity alone was a big goal for you, yeah. you know, let alone improving the circumstance. A big part of it was, you know, sometimes we just need to gain the clarity of what's really possible versus making decisions or thinking something might not be able to work when you don't right. have, when you don't have yourself at the highest level, then okay. you don't really know what you're really looking at. So that was another goal for you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so Donna, as you um, embarked in the program and and begin to apply yourself to the to the process, you know, what were some of the things that you started to feel improving for yourself? And for and again, everybody has a different journey, and mm -hmm. and so. What were some of the things that, you know, whatever point they happened that you started to feel improvement on for you? I'm trying to remember because um, it's kind of come at me in in waves, right? Mm -hmm. the, the very first part of the program, you know, I, I realized what a perfectionist I was because <laughs> I, could, I was like, I can't get all this stuff done because I wanted to have everything done perfectly. And I, I think I drove you guys crazy with the messages and they're like, mm -hmm. I can't you know, I can't make this work and I don't know if I, do I need to send this in and I have all this stuff written <laughs> on papers and I couldn't make my technology work. And I mean, I just remember finally working through that, just getting through that and, and having, you know, having, being a mom and having to be responsible for, you know, three little lives and my own sanity. And then also Mark's, you know, it was overwhelming. Yeah. It was really overwhelming. And I remember saying, how does any, I, I, I just don't think anybody in my, in my mental condition right now, <laughs> I couldn't even think straight. How is anybody supposed to be able to do this? I just didn't. I just right. didn't see that I there was any way I could get all this done without going and isolating myself for three months. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really thought I needed to go take a trip somewhere, <laughs> just hide out, and do all this work. Um, but I found that I could get through it, and I got through it in my way. Right? I mean, I just stopped putting so much pressure on myself, okay. and when I finally did that. You know, I, I started to, you know, and, I, and we, of course, you know, there were days that I couldn't even, I didn't want to get up out of bed still. Yeah. I mean, I was having, yeah. I was struggling with the health portion of it, but I would listen and I would just, I'd listen day, night, day, night in the car. My kids would get in the car and they'd be like, what are you listening to again? <laughs> um, they started seeing mommy smiling more and, you know, they started seeing some changes and, um, you know, but like I said, at the very beginning of it was overwhelming. It was really overwhelming. But I knew, I knew somehow, some way that if, if I got this done, this was going to change my life. There's so much valuable information that I was just, I, I you know, I wanted to get to it. And I didn't want to miss anything. Yeah. So I was afraid, you know, like I wasn't doing enough here. And I'd go back and try to do more. And But um, what, I, what I learned in that is just, you know, wow, I was just being too hard on myself. 
a lot, you know, beating myself up constantly if I didn't get something done exactly right. So, you know, I started working on that area of my world, which took, you know, I work on it every day, but it took so much pressure off. And um, I actually, you know, started enjoying what I was doing and um, just getting past that that very first um, shock of, you know, (laughs) wow, this is a lot. And, you know, it's, um, what else? I mean, I immediately noticed some, you know, I learned some things about who I am and how I, how I process things and the conditioning that went on early on in my life. And I, I found some things, I, I realized some things that I'd never really thought about. I, I thought I had thought about everything, mm-hmm. but there were some things that were very close to home that I hadn't looked at, you know, and that was, um, and that was an interesting shift for me, especially in that relationship, um, you know, that yes. uh, parental relationship. That's right. Um, it, it, it helped me to see a lot, but it also helped me to see, you know, hey, where I'm got, you know, where my conditioning is, where I may be putting that out on my on, on my own kids, because right. I'm seeing, wow. you know, some of that going on with them, and I'm like, I I don't want this to carry on, you know, with with my kids. I, you know, I we already have a generation of kids who are you know, who are, who are struggling truly with who they are. And, um, yeah, I just didn't want, I didn't want my kids to go through that either. And so when I think they started seeing some of those, those changes and I of course talked to them about everything I learned, (laughs) which you know, I love, you know, I love because we want to, we want to change the whole fam damnly as they say. right? So Donna, I'm so grateful for what you're sharing because it's such a real journey and to know and that's what's so truly wonderful about this process for each person is that you know whether it's doing the training that we give you or the way that we can see each person's approach to it Uh either way we're going through the process in a way that is developing you out of things that aren't serving you So what we were able to see, you know, in Donna's, in your sense of feeling overwhelmed, we were able to see that it wasn't just inherent overwhelm. It was the desire to be so high caliber. It was a desire to really live your potential as a person. And it was that fear. What if I can't do it? Which is the reason, Donna, right? We know you came into the program. Yes. So... What I was able to see easily was whatever it is that I need to train our clients on, whatever we do, it is revealing itself and it will, the process will do what it's meant to do. So in looking at that, that's amazing point, Donna, that you had that overwhelm because you want to do so well as a person. So many people can relate to that. And what if I can't? And so it was a great transformational process to simply shift your pattern of pressuring yourself versus focusing on yourself and your outcomes. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 So in that way, everyone, it does like sometimes people can be concerned. What if they don't have the capacity to apply themselves to the program because they don't feel good. And the Mm -hmm. great news is Donna can attest to this, right? Donna, as a team, whatever we're seeing going on for you, that is your training that we're going to (laughs) do. (laughs) <laughs> right so so donna doesn't it make sense that your initial uh transformation out of perfectionistic pressuring of yourself is exactly what was needed yeah <laughs> yeah right i would say so i yeah. would say so yeah so and what, what i want to just really acknowledge donna as well is i just want to thank you so much for You know, I know you may not really realize this about yourself, which is why we want to celebrate it is your, your, your willingness to be coachable is, is at the top, top levels of people that we've ever worked with. And I don't know if you know that, right? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. that. Oh, I'm like, yeah, tell me what I need to do. I will listen. Right. So that can be, sometimes that's a challenge that people have and we help them through that, but your absolute willingness to be coachable in anything and everything that we were training you on, right, is one of the Mm -hmm. things that has made all the difference. Would you agree? I agree. Yeah. I agree. 
Yeah. And, I, and you know, and, but I, I tried, I, you know what I, I, I just remember I was so, I was so dead set on getting this right. I mean, I didn't miss calls I know. and if I did, I was like, if I had missed a call, I think I missed my, I think, I think I missed one call because I, I fell asleep or something. And I was like, oh, I was devastated. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I can't miss these calls because they're that good too. I just enjoy being on them. Yeah. But, um, I just, you know, that again, that, that perfectionism would, would, strike rear its ugly head and so yeah yeah anyway and, and then we do you feel like you're able to see that the totality of everything really does work overall in the entire time frame in the program yeah i do, I, I do now yeah i can see it now yeah. i did not see it at first yeah yeah but i do yeah. now absolutely so donna what would you say you're saying the kids started to notice your smile and all of that. So as things progressed, and believe me, we could we could really see it as well. We knew it was happening. As things were progressing, what were some of the things that you noticed were improving, right? Through because there's an extended time in the program. What were what were things that you really started to notice that, you know, now they've turned into full fledged results. But how what are some of those things that you started to notice as time was going on? Um, as far as the outcomes, improvements, yeah. Improvements. Um, well, I mean, my relationship with everyone is, is, is around here has gotten better. Um, I, you know, when I start to feel a certain way, I don't feel bad anymore about saying I need some time to go, you know, do something for myself. I don't feel bad about it anymore. I used to feel so guilty about that. And, you know, now it's just like, and, and everybody's like, okay, great, you know, go take care of whatever you need to take care of. And, you know, and I got to a point where, I mean, I remember when I first started doing this work, I told everybody, you know, hey, I'm, this is like me going back to school right now. So y'all just pretend like I'm back in college because I'm going to go and I'm going to work as long as I can, you know, and work on this stuff. And, um, but it, it the, um, that and um, what else was I going to say? There was something else I was about to say. About uh, it, different improvements. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, like I even went out and got a little side job, which I never, I didn't think, I, I had tried to go back to work so many times and I loved it. I enjoyed it. You know, I actually enjoyed getting out around people again. And, um, you know, my conversations with my husband now have improved. Like we got to a point where we weren't even able to, I couldn't even have a conversation with him. Yeah. Um, much less ride in the same car with him. And, you know, we've, we've since, um, in the last week, had several conversations and ridden in the car as a family. And that's a big deal because I was just trying to stay away from any negativity that was going to set me off, right? And everything was something that was going to set me off. So there's a lot of stuff that has really changed. It may not seem big to some people, but, you know, 20 some odd years or 15 some odd years not wanting to ride in the same car or have get involved in a conversation with someone is, is a pretty big deal that you live in the same house. Yeah. With. yeah no, this is, this is very powerful, Donna, because, you know, so many people are in relationships and it's challenging to figure out what's right, right? There's aspects that you're wanting aspects that feel like they don't work. And I think, you know, one of your goals was to be able to have that clarity. So um, would you say that just having such a greater connection to yourself is one of the biggest reasons that you can see things differently now and approach them differently? Absolutely. I, that's, that's key. That's been key for me. That's right. been the absolute key for me. So can you share with us more about, you know, what it feels like to be able to have really that kind of adult conversation, a, a, um, uh, what would we call like a, a intensity free or a turmoil free kind of conversation where that was not really a capacity that you and your husband shared previous to the program. It feels amazing because the, I, I mean, it was, I, it's just like night and day to be able to have an adult conversation, whether it be with him or with my kids or, or anyone else, you know, for that matter. But with, with him to not have to struggle with thinking about, you know, the story behind something he might be saying or, you know, all those things that would just, I, I you know, I, instead of just letting them go and, and just thinking about what the other person 
why they may be saying what they're saying or, you know, being able to see it on a deeper level instead of, you know, absorbing it all and taking it personally, you know, it's so refreshing to just be able to be relaxed and be chill and, and to just, you know, kind of sit back and just be, and observe what, what's really going on was, I really didn't have the capacity to do that. I had gotten, you know, that triggered. That's, I, I don't like that word, but, you know, I just gotten to that point where, everything it was just you know just so it's just it's like a, it's the feeling is like night and day I mean to be able to just be relaxed and to be able to you know say hey you know what I, I may not agree with your opinion I was ne- I didn't never felt like I could say that mm. right it had to be an argument we had to well, we've had, had, had two different opinions and we nobody won somebody had to you know always win and in my mind now I'm just like that's okay you don't agree with me I don't agree with you that's fine. We can coexist in this relationship. And I, I love that word now. Love it. Now that right. I understand it. <laughs> Donna, this is really, really powerful because so much of our pain as people comes in our primary romantic domestic partnerships, yeah. you know, and in relationships in general, but the ones that have the most going on, we can have the most emotional turmoil, as you know. And, you know, knowing that one of the big, uh, perspectives that we operate on is that when we're emotionally sensitive people, like our, all of our clients are very, very, very intuitive, sensitive, feeling everyone's everything and feeling big stuff within ourselves, then it can make all relationships, let alone the primary ones, feel like you were literally bouncing around in emotional turmoil all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. And then nobody's really connected or or collaborating because those emotions, those negative emotions are all that's really happening, even though there's some words being said and and some serious words being said. And so that feeling where you're just in an emotional, um, you might as well be like in a washing machine, like just being spun around, you know, so many people I know can relate to that. I have been there myself. And so has everyone on my team where you're like, I care about this person. I want to collaborate, whatever you want to have a collaboration and a connection. And when you cannot do that because the emotional barriers are so profound, you know, I, I would say that's one of the worst things that any of us can experience as people. Yes. I absolutely. And then we can think if we have that happen throughout our life in different relationships, and maybe we, some of you out there watching this interview might have patterns of relationships that you go from one to the other and this is happening that can really make you feel like, is it possible for me to live in a, in an emotionally stable, connected experience with people? Right. And so I want you all to know what Dawn is sharing is that she was in a very extreme experience emotionally in her life, in her family. And Donna, what you're saying is that even though it took some of that effort to really shift yourself, that your now things have a very different emotional status to them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Now, I, you know, there are times that I, you know, there are times that I go, whoop, I'll hear that. I'll hear that in my head and I'll go, wait a minute. That didn't sound right. You know, whether it be for me or I, I've actually been saying that to some of the people in my house, you know, <laughs> you want to reword that, maybe think about using, saying this instead of this. I love it. I love it. It's really funny. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So Donna, what what it what does that emotional temperature feel like in terms of the improvement? You know, we know we know that the goal of the program is that our clients can have that capacity to continue to to grow their life without having to constantly work on learning about how to do it, but they they can know how to do it. So how does that emotional status feel? That emotional temperature now feel uh, relative to where it was in your life? Oh my gosh. It's, it's, um, I would say it's, it's a, it's a, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, it's, it's, it's night and day. It really truly is. And it makes me want more. I mean, I really want to, I, I want to keep learning, you know, I know there's so much more that, that I can learn and so much more that I can, um, you know, pass on. <laughs> so I'm interested to, I'm, I, I do find it fascinating too. I mean, I find it fascinating that I had the capacity to, to be able to move on and shift in, in the ways in my life that I didn't think were possible at this point. And, um, you know, it makes me want to learn more. It makes me want to do more. 
you know, I mean, I'll, it's, it's like, a li- to me, it's kind of like a little experiment here and there, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hmm, let me see what happens in this situation. I love I it. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It makes life so fun because you're you're just exploring your application of things. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that is so cute, Donna. So you're enjoying that, right? Oh, I'm enjoying it. Yes, absolutely. It's 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 very it's uh it's fascinating. Yeah. (laughs) What you can find. Yeah, it's entertaining. Eyes are open, and you're really tuned in with what's going on. Yeah. Oh, I love (laughs) that. So, what would you say in terms of it? How would you say the improvements have been in your health overall, right? Because you were saying you were feeling such impact in your health. So what would you say about your health? My health? um, Now, that's a good question because I learned so much. And I was already kind of starting to put some things together with the mind, body, spirit, and the the gut, and 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 the mind, all that. So I had started researching a little bit on that stuff and started trying to put a better eating plan and together and um, putting some supplements in my life and, um, it is a hundred percent better. I mean, it's a hundred percent, but uh, not a hundred percent, but it's close. Mm -hmm, Like mm -hmm. I, I feel great. I mean, I, my, I'm beginning to like retain information. I can (laughs) make a grocery list. I mean, I I can do more than, you know, five things in a day now. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, (laughs) what I can accomplish because my body is feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. My whole entire, I mean, not just my mind, but my stomach and my joints. Yeah. You know, yeah. my joints. I'm, I'm actually right now not taking any medications. Um, I just got off of sleep medication. I, I was taking sleep medications almost all my life. Right. And I haven't taken those in about a week. So. <laughs> good, good, good. These are all. Insane. Donna, this is so great, right? This is for everyone to understand that living your potential comes in every way and every day, right? The ability to do what you want, the ability to maximize the day the way you want, and you get to choose what that really looks like, right? Sometimes it's maximizing rest or whatever. It doesn't, it's really about your choice and your freedom to not feel limited by something that's going on that actually can be changed. So Donna, when you're saying you can do these things in a day and you have that energy, it's like, that's, uh, that's living your potential, right? Even though you might, you know, we, we, we are all uh, wired to want to contribute in, in new and different and exciting ways. Do being able to do this in your everyday life for you, your family, this is powerful because that's not the case for everybody. And it can be really confusing and overwhelming to be able to do that. So I love that that is so powerful for you that, um, right, that when you make these shifts, your cognitive capacity, right, your executional ability on things, your energy and the your energy dynamics are shifting. And as often is a very powerful result for our clients, when you become your own medicine because you're you are you are the methodology in all reality then you'll find that your body does not need things that you were using to try to fix the symptoms of what you were dealing with all right so right. i don donna i love hearing that so that's a, a new update for me that your body's able to now rest itself naturally at night okay. get there yeah get there yeah, yeah getting there. Yeah. This, this is amazing because sometimes for people going off sleep medication is what could be one of the scariest things ever. And yes, how (laughs) phenomenal, right? How phenomenal. So that's a really, yeah, that's a testament to where you are and where you're going. Donna, what would you say? Um, because so many people that do our program and that are watching this have children, what would you say you have noticed is the impact in, in, in your children and how they are behaving and interacting with you? They're, they're not, they're not, I hate, I hate saying this, but they're not staying away. They're not, you know, they're not avoiding me. <laughs> That's huge. That is huge. But, I mean, they don't seem to be anyway. Um, it's no, really funny. It. Own it. Like, you know, I mean, I, we've gone and done some things just in the past, you know, week or two. And it's like, they'll look at me like, 
what is wrong with you? Like, I'm being that stupid and goofy and funny again. Like, they're like, oh, my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, I don't know. I think they might be embarrassed of me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually She's too happy. Again. She's too happy. Right now. <laughs> I'm being totally goofy again and acting crazy. But like, what, I, if what I'm hearing is... They're, you're attractive to your own children. They feel. I, th I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They <laughs> as feel as much as you can be to a teenager. <laughs> right, and then they're going to be normal teenagers going, "Mom, exactly. you're goofy," but that's a really powerful shift from feeling disconnected from each other, feeling a lot of emotional intensity between each other, yeah. feeling you know the separation. I really remember these things you shared with me, and now having a natural connection that of course has regular everyday teenage stuff in it, which is yeah. fun and cute anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sometimes <laughs> it's, it is. So, um, yeah, that's their job, right. To be yeah, like, exactly. what is this happy woman doing? Right. I mean, either way right. they've got to have a, they've got to have some sort of a, of a, a rebellious opinion on it. Right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but I know I was one one, one time. Yeah, no, I, I love to, that. I have to remember back to that. And then, Donna, what I want to also share is, um, you know, because, again, everybody's got unique situations. And one of the things that was unique about yours is that you were so wanting to make these improvements for yourself. And there was that challenge between you and your husband not being as connected. And so, like, for some people... Um, your husband would not necessarily have been supportive of you doing a program like this, right? That that wouldn't have been a, that you know a, a, maybe a first thing that he would do. It wouldn't have been a way that you were able to connect at that time, right? No, not at that time. So you know, for some pe so for everyone to understand that where your commitment level is is really important because Donna really represents you represent something really powerful Donna is that you were so committed to making these changes for yourself and really committed to to you and your family that you know it wasn't easy right away for you to like access being able to be into the program because because no. of where you and your husband were and yeah. so i i want to share with everybody that Donna did something really amazingly powerful which was we were on this call together and it was absolutely clear. She was completely committed. And we just looked at what were the resources available to her because she knew that and she knew that part of the thing she had to change was with her and her husband. It wasn't going to work for him at that moment to invest in that. And so we got a, we, you know, Donna, this was amazing. You were, you thought resourcefulness and you thought to yourself, you know, my dad has always wanted me to be the best version of myself. And we just grabbed, you know, we, it was amazing. We just got him on the line. Right. And I'm, and I'm sharing this, you know, to be able to serve everybody to understand that that was not easy for you. No, right. No, it, wasn't. it was not no. easy for Donna. It was not easy for you, Donna, but what was so powerful and why the one of the reasons why Donna was invited into this program is Donna, that, that you put above all else, even though it, you know, we, your dad had a little grumpy factor going on, <laughs> right? We had a little grump. You knew, we knew we were going to have a little grumpy factor. You know, I don't know if you realize I did, but I, I want to really acknowledge you for the fact that you knew he was going to be a little grumpy, but that's how powerfully committed you were to living your purpose. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I there, there was no question in my mind that this was the program I needed. At the time that it came and the way that it came to me and everything that I already understood about it, because, you know, I, I feel like I understood a little more about it than, than probably your typical yeah. average whatever, somebody coming in. And so I just knew. I knew you, the way that you thought, the way that you did things, the way you talked, your beliefs. I could just tell they lined up with what I thought, you know, and when the things that were in, in intuitive in me and I thought you know I've got to get I've got to get in I've got to get in this some way you know and I in you know we are a one income family and so it's just my husband working with three kids and so and plus just the animosity between he and I there was no way I could right. get I could have done that and also but also knowing you know <laughs> what my dad has witnessed and what he's you know just I know how he thinks about things. He has a tendency to think one way about things and he's 
it can be a little pessimistic in, in my mind. Mm-hmm. And so, and you know, he's already done a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. So that was a very great challenge. There was a lot of pride in a way there. There was, so there was a lot of pride that went into that, but still, um, you know, I was just like, this, uh, if, you know, I, I feel like if I don't get, if, I feel like this is the missing link. Yeah. If I don't get this done, you know, I don't know what's going to happen next. I really didn't know what was going to happen next if yeah. I didn't find something that was. And I, I wanted to just share that again, because one of the things that can happen is that for all of us, right, we can have these moments of access to the life that we want. And what we are programmed to see is a lot of barriers. And Mm -hmm. especially when, if we've done things and we've invested in them, people have invested in us and they look like they haven't worked. And in some ways they have, they have, but they've worked to whatever degree they've worked. And that can be the very reason we might think something can't work versus those work to this degree. But what if there is something else that I'm needing to do? And clearly I do, or I would be there. And so sometimes, even though it's not really our, it's not our intention to be noodling around in everybody's finances. We don't come from that place. But where we come from is we see people in their pure potential and we know that when they do this program, that they're going to be able to live that. So one of the greatest things we help people do is move through any barriers that might be in the way and at least try to. Mm-hmm. And why it's so powerful having gotten your dad on the, on the call, um, especially because Donna, what was so great is when I said to you, what do you, what do you have in terms of a strategy to access your potential as a person? And, and that was, you came up with that right there. And, so many of you watching this have people that care about you and they care about you living your potential because they get to see it too. Cause they want to see it too. And so I remember saying to you, Donna, um, what we looked at was, you know, that dad was going to be a little grumpy <laughs> and he was probably going to be a little judgmental saying, I've tried things before. And I'll, and we knew that going in, we knew that mm-hmm. inviting him into the conversation yeah. and what was, Donna, you were so coachable right then when I said to you, are you willing for him to be grumpy and say some negative things because you're that committed to you and your family and these outcomes, Mm -hmm. right? And you said, let's get him on the phone, right? Let's get him on the phone. And why I want everybody to understand this is because if we're really that committed, then we may have some uncomfortable moments (laughs) <laughs> as we invite people in our lives to invest in the outcomes that we want and they want for us too. Um, and so Donna, it was amazing. You put aside that shame that dad did sort of impart in the situation and, and we got yes. ourselves laser focused on the outcomes because we knew it was for him too, right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it was really powerful, and I want everybody to know that whatever your circumstances are, just to know that whatever strategies or access that you might have, that if you know your potentials on the other side of that, that will help you with that, right? We'll, we'll help you with those things because then we get to be having this moment right here, which I knew we'd be having. So, um, and we want to do that not only for you, like we have done, Donna, and we've got to enjoy this journey, but... To know that now dad has his daughter, you know, at this capacity now. And that's a great thing for for our families in general, our extended families as well. So Donna, would you say um, that Jim, uh, we know we know Jim has a high bar, but it's, I wonder where you got it from. But <laughs> wow, would, really? Would you say that Jim has noticed some benefits here for you? I would say he probably would say he has I mean, <laughs> changes in him, to be honest. What, um, yeah, what have you noticed? We talk a lot about things, you know, that I'm learning. So, but um, not too much, though. We don't, um, you know, we, 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 we did have, you know, well, as you know, we had some issues with talking probably a little more than we should. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would say he probably would say so. And I would, I would guarantee it. 
So what have you noticed in the relationship with him now? Because you at this capacity is obviously going into everything. What have you noticed has improved there? Our conversations in general. I mean, we talk about things and like there just are boundaries there that are, are didn't seem to exist before. Yeah. And even for him too, it's really strange. I almost think he's going through the program himself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I don't know. We, he is. He he's is. going through a different program. I don't know. He's going through it through me. I don't know. But yeah. you know, I, I, there's just some definite changes. Like I don't, I mean, we were so enmeshed, right? Yeah. We were so, I mean, I just don't, I don't feel like I have to tell him everything all the time. I have to say, I don't have to call him every single night and fill him in on everything that's going on in my world. You know, I'm a big girl. He, you know, yeah. he's getting older and he needs to, you know, kind of deal with his own life and he needs, he wanted to see me at peace though, you know, and I think yeah. that's the biggest thing for him um, was to be able to see his daughter. It was just not burning the candle at both ends and, you know, yeah. it's completely out of control, but, yeah, I think that is the probably the biggest thing is that he, I think he senses the peace. So and good. so, yeah. I love that. We wanted to, do, we, I wanted to do that for Jim too, especially because of the grumpy factor. I wanted to really prove it to him as well. He's the pessimist. So well, because that's, you know, because he cared and part of his struggle was to wonder if it, if it could be okay the way that he wanted it to as well. Yeah. So that exactly. is so powerful, Donna, that now your emotional adult self is able to have an adult to adult relationship with your dad instead of a parent child one at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a, that is tremendous. I'm so I, I, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm learning about all of these outcomes as well. And there's so many of them that that's, I think that's one of my favorite ones. I love Aww. that. I love yeah. that. Donna, a few more questions. What would you say was maybe one of the most surprising things that you learned about yourself in your absolute willingness to always take the training to heart that has been one of the biggest pieces of your transformation? I'm trying to process that. Yeah, take your time. Um. Like, you, do you mean, like, um, I? there's been so much. Um, yeah, if something just stands out about what really, you know, where you might have thought something was really different than it is, and now you see it's a lot differently, and it's been a game changer for you. Oh, I would just say, just the, 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 the probably the main thing for me is how other people are basically mirroring me. You know, I didn't, I, I had no idea that that's, you know, when someone's responding in a way that they're actually responding to, you know, it's not, I, and that in the stories, you know, all the stories that I had in my head that I had made up about every situation and, 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 and I'm noticing it in everybody I talk to. I'm like, I'll look at somebody and go, that's a story. You realize that's a story, right? Like I had somebody telling me something the other day about a parent, you know, about their parent. And I said, you know, I mean, think about that. I want you to think about what you just said, because really that meant, you know, I'm, I really go into this like psychoanalytical, you know, role of, you know, I really honestly, I don't think that that person really is what you're saying that they are. Just think about their conditioning when they were growing up and nice. think about how they're responding. I don't think that they're trying to hurt you. Right. Nice. I mean, and that's like just to see things like that on a level now to just go, well, you know what that person is or, or you know, if I'm, if I'm acting a certain way and my kids are acting a certain way, well, they're obviously acting that way for a reason. Right. So I, it's, it's, it's just been interesting. And that was kind of a hard pill to swallow at first, the whole, <laughs> you know, that I, I, I actually, you know, couldn't tell myself any more stories about other people and that I really needed to start kind of just focusing on, you know, um, and I love the part, the love, the whole self part, you know, I really am learning to love and accept myself and whether, regardless of what anyone else thinks. And I just love that. That is the, one of the best things that, um, that whole part of the series, um, is fabulous. So um, and you know, I had gotten so far from that. Like I said, I mean, I didn't, re like, I didn't remember who I was. I couldn't enjoy myself anymore. I just, I was like, I didn't, and, you know, now, like I said, you know, being silly and goofy in the car the other day, making up my own dance moves and singing mm -hmm. out loud. And my kids are like, 
<laughs> She's back. Is that joy? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. you know, and it's nice to be able to, you know, so for them to see that again and then to be, because I want them to know that that's okay for them. I want them to know that in life, it is okay to be yourself, not to be uncomfortable in your skin. And that's, that's you know, that Donna, that was one of your, I forgot about that was one of your big goals that you you felt like your kids were so serious and unable to enjoy life. And that was yes. one of your biggest concerns. So it was, yeah, that they would be, they would be grumpy <laughs> and negative yeah. and responding to everything in a negative fashion. And so that's powerful. We, and do you have a sense that as you continue along in the fashion that you are in now, that they will, they'll be able to grow with more positive auto responses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I I think so. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You intend I, so. <laughs> I intend so. I mean, yeah. No, I intend to. Right. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, it, it it does seem like there is a a much easier, lighter way just about things at our, in our home. Yeah. You know, oh, every, not that. everything is such a you know. Uh, it's just, I can't, I can't believe I lived in that in that mindset and that 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 physiology of just the constant chronic fight or flight and it, it's amazing to me that I don't have to live that way and I've and I lived that way probably chronically for a good at least 15 years in a row sure. I mean just sure yeah sure so it's so, nice so again everybody knowing that no matter how long it's things have been going on that they can shift it's much easier than it seems like it might be and Donna on that note what would you say to people who feel like they've been entrenched in certain experiences? They've been struggling for a long time. They don't have experience where they feel like their attempts at, at um, transforming themselves or developing or re getting relief. Like you said, what would you say to people who feel like they've tried everything and really something's wrong with them. It can't work for them. It's too good to be true. Any of these kinds of things. What would you say? Um, I would say, you know, I mean, that's exactly where I was. And I think that what it took for me is to have every, I, I just, again, I'll go back to all the information that you have available in your program. It is, it's a lot, but I believe that it is the right thing. You've got so much in there. You've encompassed so many things on so many levels that I don't think that there is a person that can go through this program and fail it. I mean, if they do and get what it is that they, you know, what it is that they need to get out of it. I think you've covered every base. <laughs> I mean, every base. I mean, honestly, and, and I, for me, like I said, and, and you know, you heard us, say, you heard me say this, and my dad too. This was a last last ditch effort for me. I mean, I had literally gone to every counselor, every therapist, every coach. I mean, everything. I had done everything. And this was my last, this was my, and I love the fact that I will have this for the rest of my life. Yeah. That's the best thing. Because I can't ever get enough of hearing you and your stories <laughs> and your, you know, all your funny things that you talk about and that all the serious things too. I mean, yeah. you definitely, I mean, I, I, I don't know that there is anyone out there either I, that I can even imagine that has the passion that you do in this program. You make it fun. You make it interesting. And, um, you know, I feel like I truly have a friend now, you know, on the other end of this, but I mean, I, I honestly, there's just so much information in there. And I really, at first I, I, I couldn't figure out why there was so much in there. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, there's some of this already knew some of it I didn't, but it makes sense in the end why you do it the way that you do. I mean, just to encompass anything and everything that somebody may have missed or may not have gone through in their life that, um, that helps. And I love the phone calls. Mm -hmm. I love the coaches. I loved, um, you know, having my, you know, our, our Tuesdays and our Friday phone calls and, um, that, that's, that kind of sense of community was really nice. I love the ladies in my group and, um, yeah, it's been a wonderful experience and I don't want it to end. <laughs> Donna, I know. Thank you so thank much you. for, for acknowledge, for really helping people understand that, you know, because that can be when people are feeling overwhelmed, sometimes one of the emotional strategies that's operating is, will it be more painful to stay where I am or more painful to do some effort? 
and more can seem like uh, threatening. And yes. so, yeah, it, if it, our threats go up and we're testing out, are we going to be more in more pain? And we won't go toward that pain if we don't have a sense that there's a payoff for it. So it's a great point in that one of the reasons we have such a comprehensive integrative program is because over the years, having seen so many people come to my practice uh, from the very beginning that were in such pain and they had tried, they'd gone every, everything and part of their pain was it wasn't all put together and they were all these things were separated and mm -hmm. and they had a lot more effort they had to have 17 appointments a week and you know there was so much that needed to happen and so one of one of the practical reasons that everything's in there is because i wanted to make sure no matter who it was that we could cover all the bases that somebody would need to be able to live at the very highest levels of emotional strength and capacity, regardless of the circumstance or situation. So even though that can, you know, so for everyone to know that we've, we have covered everything and uh, that ends up being a really fun thing ultimately in the end, because there's so much learning, so much growing and learning, but that at the same time, if somebody doesn't do every single aspect of it, the totality of the program is designed to be more powerful than every piece in it. Yeah. Right? So uh, to know that whatever way you go through the program, that you can be successful in it. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Anything else, Donna, that you would want to add? Parting shots for people? Anything about your journey? Anything else? Um, I'm just excited to keep, to take what I've learned and, and, and keep, continue to apply it, but to continue to learn more. Because I, 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 I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's um, you know, I, it's, it's, I've taken it. It's just a chat. It's, it's a fun challenge. It's, 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 it's kind of an adventure now. Adventure. You know, um, I, uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens in the situation that, especially my current situation. Yeah. I mean, I'm just really looking forward to see what happens next. Well, because I'm just, yeah, it's, I'm having some shifts that have happened that I never thought would happen. So we'll see. Well, and Donna, to, to that point, what's really exciting is go ahead and share with us as we wrap up today, how, how this has been so impactful that what is it that you're wanting to do with your life now? I want to teach other people the same thing. Yeah. I want to teach, I want to teach others to, to find their potential and you know, that they don't have to live a life of pain and, <laughs> pain and struggle um that's exactly what I want to do and I and I wanted to do it many many years ago but then I got so sick from being so sick yeah. that I, I couldn't climb out of the hole far enough to you know to get myself in a good place and so now I'm like well this is what I want to do so when love, can we when can we learn <laughs> I, I love that and that's for, for all for all of you to know that in the larger vision of things we wanting as many people to be able to live this capacity as a person, apply this methodology and bring it to other people. So uh, these are some of our favorite results. So yeah. Donna, I just want to thank you for celebrating uh, with celebrating yourself, celebrating this journey, celebrating life today together, because we do, you know, our, you know, your family, we're family now and uh -huh. uh, our community is, we, it's a real, you know, we love our clients and our clients love us and we deeply, deeply care about each other and we're a community for life at this point. So getting to spend this time with you today is really special to me. And I want to really honor what it means to go from how you were feeling to then being here today, like I told you we would be, <laughs> and being so generous to share your story and your truth in celebration and in service. So thank you so much. No, thank you. I thank you. Totally. You've been a lifesaver for me. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, if, uh, so hopefully you, again, you've just really enjoyed this and been inspired and been informed. And for any of you that can resonate with where, with what, where Donna was and what she shared about her transformation and her life and, and what she's looking forward to in the future for any of you where this connects for, for you, um, know that, you know, we're open to having a conversation with you about what it is that you're dealing with, 
what it is that you're wanting to be different, uh, where you are in your readiness and commitment to change, right? These are all important things for us to look at. And we're happy to show you what that would look like um, if you wanted to do that. And if it wasn't a fit, we're also happy to just, you know, have that opportunity to serve you uh, either way. So our, our breakthrough calls are really um, an amazing experience of self-awareness regardless if somebody does the program or not and so I just invite you all to give yourself that opportunity uh, and we'd love to get to know you a little bit better too so if you want to do that you can just you know there's a there's a link here uh, underneath this video and we'll look forward to connecting soon take care